Hello. Hello, hello friends. Good morning, good evening. Welcome back everyone for our online webinars, the weekly webinars. Yeah. Yep. And I'm just checking out. Today we have a very special friend. One of the, right now we can say that one of the star of India. Yes. You know, a, a wildlife phot photography can be really a task even for the adult when when it comes to kids getting into the scene that to this young ones and making such a mark internationally make me so proud to be an Indian. And uh, that's uh, and, and it's so good to see their work and they have that freshness in their work, their fresh perspective, their enthusiasm and life in the work. That's definitely so amazing. Yeah, I'm just sharing everywhere. Okay. <laughs> so that more people will be able to see it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How about you start with an introduction? One second. I'm just waiting yeah. for a couple of people. No, um, I mean, just to give an intro. One minute. Give me a second. Yeah. So today's guest is Ashuti, um, an amazing kid. I mean, that's the power of social media. You know, you get to see a lot of people, you can get to interact with a lot of people and uh, um, uh, two photographers from one family, father and son is definitely a great thing to have, you know, the kids having such supportive family definitely help them to enhance their uh, ability. That's very, that's very, very important. And it's, the time is changing, people are changing. It's not like the olden time where your parents will force you to become a doctor or engineer which is which itself is a big move exactly yeah and yeah so today uh, we will be introducing to you uh, ashdeep singh a very well-known young photographer born in 2017 in a place called Jalandhar in India. Uh, and recently in uh, he his image of treetop dog got him the highly commended wildlife photo, uh, highly commended image in the wildlife photographer of the year competition 2020. And at the age of 10, he also won the wildlife photographer, young wildlife photographer of the year. 2018 title for his world famous image of the called the pipe owls two spotted owlets in the pipe so let's let's welcome uh, ashdeep singh to the screen hello hello how are you good good how are you i'm good so this is the star of the day yeah mm -hmm. Thanks, Thank you for um, you know accepting our request and, and joining us. It's really a pleasure and honor to have you. You are an inspiration for everyone and Thank you. as well as the adults. That's big. Thank you. So let's uh, let's begin with giving us some insight about how you started your journey. Uh, what inspired you? What's your dream? And we can start with an introduction. Then you can carry forward. We can take people through your images and your experience and let's see what people have to would like to ask you and then we will carry forward from there okay, so, okay? so uh, when i was three uh, my father is also a wildlife photographer so he he started doing wildlife photography and going to jungles and nearby places so i also have a dream to hold a camera so okay on my fifth birthday my father gifted me my first camera so after that he uh, used to we used to go 
to nearby places, remote places, uh, different forests in different countries. So when I was nine, I first entered in a competition named Wildlife Frog of the Year. It okay. was in 2017. Uh, I got selected in top 25, uh, but uh, uh, I didn't win that competition. But in the next year, uh, when I uh, posted, uh, when I entered in the competition with the pick of the pipe owls, uh, so I won that competition and the, that pick gave me two awards. So both awards are Wildlife Frog of the Year 2018 uh, nature great. best wildlife 2000 uh, nature best wildlife for asia 2018 mm -hmm. so uh, i also got uh, one more award that is in 2018 only uh, comedy wildlife dog for of the year 2018 so since 2018 uh, to 2020 i have winning awards regularly every year it's great and, and uh, the comedy wildlife photography award picture is it the same yeah it's not the same but it okay. was of the same out okay yeah so let's let's go through your images then okay you are able to see my screen yeah 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 Sure, start. Yeah, sure. Okay. So this is the pick of Asians, uh, Asian small called uh, uh, otter. It was in Lankavi, Malaysia. Uh -huh. This was in Kapoorthala, Black Franklin. Uh, this this is of uh, Jaipur, a black rumped flame back woodpecker. This is in uh, Vietnam. Niger. Okay. This is in uh, this is a Kalugo. I actually won uh, this award. Um, like, uh, yes, in two thousand twenty only in the Asia competition. Mm -hmm. This is the lemu, common brown lemu. Okay. This is a sefaka. This is a Eastern Grey Bamboo. These are taken from where? Uh, Vietnam. Okay. This is a pick at uh, midnight uh, 2 a.m. Hmm. Eastern Woodley LMO. Okay. This is a FOSA. In so Vietnam. when you go for trips, do you do a proper study about the place or you try to understand what all are the species? What's your process of going for each trip? So actually me and father sit together and we decide to go, go on which places. We select five places and we study about it, uh, what we can see, what species are there. Okay. okay and how about you also try to understand what all are the different species there or you take the pictures first and then try to understand about the species so we study we see how people have taken the pictures how we can take rare pictures of uh, the species that are there in the country that's great okay this is a himalayan tahar mm -hmm. it is in chopta india only no. This is a this is a Indian plant school. This was in my garden actually. Mm. This is leopard in Kenya. Mm. This is a leopard uh, and a blue bull in Jaipur. This is oh, a I long tail. Uh, in the previous picture, if you can go, that's a wonderful image. Yes. So how was the story? I mean, did the leopard manage to make a kill, or it was just no, no. It was like the leopard was one feet uh, away from the uh, this bull. blue bull. Mm. Yes, but he didn't manage to kill her because of their uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a long tail macaque. This is a mm. wonderful picture actually in the roots. That's yeah. beautiful. This is a Madagascar scoop owl. 
uh, I think, yeah, you were the previous frame, please. The Madagascar, yeah, it's a beautiful one. Okay. Yeah. This is a, a Parasons chameleon. Mm -hmm. This is the wow. red for uh, Raphael Lemu. Okay. In Madagascar. This is a red a red chunk duke. Uh, I won the award actually. Oh, you won the award. How yeah. was the journey? How can you can you just take us through your experience and your journey on this place? Particular picture. Particular yeah. picture. Uh, so we drove to that place uh, mm -hmm. at six a.m. Mm -hmm. So actually, it was too hot at eight a.m. Literally too oh. hot. And actually, I burnt my leg because uh, there were there were a lot of photographers and there were motorcycles, and the motorcycle steel is too hot that uh, <laughs> I was not wearing full pants. But I managed to click this picture. Actually, there were many people, like twenty photographers. So uh, I think many many photographers took the same pic, but I was. I told my dad to let's go somewhere else because there are literally 20 photographers. The picture will be same. Yeah. So actually, I waited for this picture for one hour. After one hour, I clicked, I clicking pictures of this uh, Red Chang Duke. It took me 15 minutes to the uh, correct, correct image. Okay, that's beautiful. I mean, you got it pausing for you, sitting relaxed, then you know, looking at you yes. through the branches. That's really nice. Really nice. It, it looks like a man uh, wearing formal clothes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, a bit colorful. Yes. This is a red tail. Uh, uh, you can say lemu. Mm -hmm. This is a ruby eye uh, green. A bit wiper. Are you not scared of snakes, or you're okay in yeah. sighting such snakes? Actually, I was only scared of uh, cheetahs. Actually, I went to uh, Kenya, so mm -hmm. there was a cheetah called Malaika. Yeah. So, she, yeah, she actually used to jump upon your uh, jeep. So <laughs> uh, I saw first time that cheetah was coming forward to our car jeep. Okay. So I holded my mom uh, hand and I started crying because i was too scared <laughs> but the driver told me that uh, she is no more because of the flood over there okay yeah, yeah. no more now yeah. and the driver also made the made fun of me <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a western honeybee okay Beautiful this shot. is a yellow bill blue magpie uh, it isn't glossy mm -hmm. Uh, this is, was this was my first picture that I liked. Uh, I actually this was the image uh, with which I entered in 2017 Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition, but it only uh, go through top 25. It's a spectacular image. Yes, Such a fabulous competition and the story, everything together. It's a beautiful image. Yeah. This is the Bible image. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. Uh, this is a different Bible. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, in our place in Jalanda, Punjab, mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. think that owls should not be in their city because it is harmful for them. So, they try to kill these owls and cut, cut their pipe. So, they shift it to another place. Hmm. Why, why do they think? Is there any reason behind why they think that owls should not be there? Uh, there are some like uh, some people that spread rumors about these owls uh, that uh, it is not good to be in the place where these owls are located. Some superstition. Superstition. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so sad. Okay. So this pipe also has been cut a few days ago. So mm -hmm. I haven't seen them from a long while. Yeah, that's it. Okay.
yeah what happened yeah, yeah that's all his okay the images yeah that's great the great collection of images and um so what's your what's your dream when you think about your future what's your idea so my dad said to me that be a wildlife photographer and my mom is saying to be a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> So, so I don't know what to do. be a lawyer come wildlife photographer. No, he can be a wildlife advocate. <laughs> yeah, that's a great mm -hmm. thing actually. Uh, so your idea is to become both or sticking only towards um, wildlife photography? Uh, my idea is to become a both so that I can fulfill my father's and mother's both the, my parents' dream. Yeah, that's great. That's really great. That's a good move. And again, understand being a lawyer can help you in many ways because you know you can yes. you can be a lawyer for for nature. That makes yes. a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, how, how how often you do photography these days? So because of COVID nineteen, I'm not get, going for for wildlife photography. I try to do it in garden, or I only go in weekends. So every weekend you go? Yes, every weekend. Great. And um, so can you can you give us some insight on your last weekend? Yeah. So I went to Chamba. Uh, mm -hmm. We stayed at our friend's place, my father's friend's place. Because I think uh, these days hotels are not safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So first day, nothing. Literally nothing. Mm -hmm. I was unable to see um, like only one bird and it was a common second day was the best day in Chamba. Okay. okay. Uh, so I saw jungle owl. Your video, is not visible. Your, your video is not working. Is there a problem? Still not? No. Mm. Yeah, that's so that was, uh, yeah, I think he's back. It looks like some technical issue. Yeah. What an amazing journey. Yeah, he's reconnecting. Okay. And it's such a, such a blessing to yeah. have in, family, which is such a young age. He got a good collection as well. A good connection, collection. Collection as well. Such a family, family support. Yeah. That's so important. And especially your father being a wildlife photographer, <laughs> that can definitely add a lot of value. Ashadi, we are still not able to see your video. It's giving a sign. It looks like a logo. Just a second. I'm sorry for this. Um, not sure what is the issue, but yeah, Ashadi was having some connection issue. Still not. No. No. Just a second, I think. Yeah. 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 Yes. So we were talking about your last week and your expeditions in. Yeah. So, second day was the best day. Uh, I saw many different birds, many different uh, eagles, uh, many different woodpeckers. I got to see that spotted owlet. Uh, from a long while, um, those pipe owls I'm missing. Okay. So in Chamba, when I saw them, I was literally happy. But they were not the same one, but uh, it's just like a story that makes me feel better. Can you share the story, please? Yeah. 
So the story is that you all know um, that I was traveling with my father. So I saw two spotted owlets going inside a pipe. Mm -hmm. So I told my dad to stop the car, but he didn't believe me. Uh, he thought he thought that I was mistaken. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I told him, let's wait for 30, 40 minutes. Uh, be patient. So he said, okay. We waited for 45 minutes and after that one owl came. So my father mm -hmm. believed me and he said, let's wait for some more minutes uh, and let's see. So after 40, uh, 40, 50 minutes, another owl also came. Mm -hmm. So my father was happy. Mm -hmm. I was happy. It was like a, a dream. Great. Uh, if I tell someone that is not interested in wildlife photography, he will think that I'm just joking with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, it's, I hope, you know, your photos of owls will help people to realize that, you know, these are not harmful not birds. Yes. They will be able to, you will be able to do something, at least to some extent, for stopping the scatting owl and killing owls and, you know, cutting the pipe and killing owls. That's where... Mm. People like you can make a lot of difference. What yeah. was your friend's re reaction in school uh, once you got your first award? So, a friend's reaction was normal. They were, after winning the award, they were just like normal, normal friends, not treating me uh, uh, like they. Uh, and the teachers, uh, teachers were used to scold me. Why are you doing photography? <laughs> Do your homework Be because I was taking too many holidays for wildlife photography. So okay. now the teacher says, "Don't do the homework. Go for photography." <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's and great. and uh, what was your feeling standing at the Natural History Museum? Uh, it was good. Uh, I I met Tim Lemon sir. Wow. He's my inspiration. He's my inspiration. I met yes. and I met many other photographers, mm -hmm. which I uh, used to follow them on social media. Okay, it was so a great how experience. Do you find being in social media. Sorry. How do you feel being in social media and uh, you know when you get these messages or when you talk to people when people approach you, what what is the feeling you get? Uh, I feel excited and I want to tell one thing that Ajay Devgan sir also posted uh, my pic and congratulated me. Wow. wow. That's great. Yeah. Uh, so in 2018, when I won the award, the next day he posted a pic on his Instagram. <laughs> That's great. That's, you know, that being at such a young age and um, getting across the world you know it's, in, so many people are uh, a part of this and uh, with getting this kind of exposure is such a big thing and i really wish and i really wish you to become one of the biggest stars in future and you, thank you so much. i know it's too young for you to um, for, you're too young for me to ask you this question but i'm sure with your kind of exposure, you will have ideas to implement for your future. So if you have anything to share with us. Uh, I don't think uh, right now mm -hmm. because okay. actually I think I'm too young right now. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm sure that with ours, you will be able to make a difference in your place. Yes. That, is, that itself is a huge thing, you knowingly or unknowingly giving an insight of this issue to the rest of the world and giving a positive note to your place about owls itself is a conservation act. Yeah. Yes. So after the owl pick, people got inspired. Uh, they started planting trees uh, like my neighbors and my friends and they sent in me the video. That's, That's so beautiful, dear. That's such a heart touching thing, you know. Yeah, making a difference to this world is, is one of the biggest achievements that you can do in yes. your life. Yeah. And from from cutting down the pipes and killing the owls to planting trees for owls, just yeah. one award is huge, you know. 
this yes. this is where you become a conservation photographer you are you don't realize what is the value you are giving it to people to change mm -hmm. their mindset to change their you know from the hate or fear to love for owls is something really big yes true it's great okay so i let's hope that more and more people are going to get inspired by arshadeep especially the young kids and they will get more into uh, photography and let's hope you know it's not just for the young kids including adults i mean i'm a big fan of you so there will be a lot of lot of lot and lot of people getting inspired by your work and get involved and give your prayers and support dear and let more and more awards come to you yeah thank you so much thank you arshadeep for joining us and thank we hope you. that one day uh, once your dad is free randeep and you will be able to come together yes. to share your journey as you know a father and a son and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah 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 Uh, Randeep is again. Uh, Randeep is Ashdeep's uh, father. He is also a fabulous photographer, focusing mainly on birding. Uh, so we are hoping he is busy with his business life. So we are hoping once he is free, both of them will be able to join together, which can give us a different perspective from his side as well. So let's see if we have any questions. And uh, yeah, we see a lot of success in his life. Yeah, we have a couple of people giving you best wishes at home. Rahul, Nepali, Sanjay, Tamali, Outdoor Click. Well, a lot of people are giving you all the best uh, for your journey, and it's an honor for us. And uh, you know, it's real, definitely, wildlife photographer of the year is a dream for almost yes. I'm sure at every photographer. The photographers. Yeah. and you being at such an age and getting it twice that is definitely a spectacular achievement a very good achievement yes yeah thank you so much so it okay see you. see you over here thank you so much see you again thank you. take care and thank you. good luck same here same here take care you too dear bye 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 so that was arshadeep very simple and straightforward he his age and being a wildlife photographer at such a young age and in two years time again once again in the same platform and making some change to the world to his place where he lived yeah and yeah that's different i mean i've never heard even in even in our place we have a pretty bad reputation for owls but i haven't seen people killing owls you know it's uh, not it's not basically killing owls it's basically destroying their habitat or destroying their, where the place they live that, that's sad but yeah it's indirectly indirectly killing killing them. yeah yes yeah but we haven't i mean i know that it's uh, treated as a bad woman and it's a messenger of death and i mean these are the myths we kind of heard at, as a child they would when they yeah. give the calls they say it's like uh, inviting that kind of stuff like that as a kid but you see them you say that the way they turn their head there is nothing else in your head rather than just looking at them it's such a spectacular bird you know everybody is not messenger of god yeah pri i mean once you are alive once you are like me like you <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the meaning of uh, her with me messenger of god and though we call <laughs> it god <laughs> okay yeah. on that note let's um, uh, do we have what no uh, have this uh, i need to send uh, email and i need to announce through this session that saturday we will be doing the live review Uh-huh. We already have four people ready. We were supposed to do it on Monday, and due to some health issues and all, I I messaged everybody that I'll be we'll be doing it on Saturday. Okay. So Saturday, I will send the messages today to who all have part uh, like send their images, okay. and if anybody else want to participate in that, uh, people can send the 
uh, photographs to postfiles.review at gmail.com. Okay. All right. I'm just typing it here. Yeah. Postfiles.review at gmail.com. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I learned it finally. Congrats. Thank you. Okay, so on that note, after a break, we received yesterday one image on um, echo connectors. That's something very simple, which everybody can be a part of. If possible, we really appreciate if you can plant a, a sapling of a native tree and send a picture to echo connectors at gmail.com along with your Instagram ID. That will be really great. We will be yeah. posting this in our website. Plus, I'll be sharing it on my story and tag you as well. It's a small initiative to, you know, uh, to make this world beautiful, greener, and you can do something to make this place a far better place. And you can make a difference in the carbon footage. Rahul, hello. Hi, Rahul. How are you? It's Rajul. Rajul, you know me. I see first letter and last letter. Sorry, Rajul. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Um, so just in case, once again, if you are, if you have a collection of fabulous wildlife photography or nature, macro, landscape, anything related to nature, please send it across to postrace.review at gmail.com. Uh, not uh, Rajul. Okay, I got it. Sorry. <laughs> okay then. See all you right all there. again next yeah. uh, the Saturday. Yeah. Bye Till for now. Day, yeah. Take care, everybody.